Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Math with Mrs. Jackson. Today we are going to be doing um, chapter three, lesson six, true or false equations. And we need to start with our name and date first. And if your name is um, Berlin, you need to write Berlin. If your name is Ariana, you're gonna write Ariana. If your name is Adriano, you're going to write Adriano, but since my name is Mrs. Jackson, I'm going to write Mrs. Jackson. And my date is 4 28 20. All right. Color the flowers that have a sum or a difference of six. So we need to figure out which flowers have a difference or a sum of six. So let's go here. Four plus two. Four and two more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, perfect. So we can color that one. So I'm going to draw a check mark by it. Seven minus four. So seven minus four. One, two, three, four. Mm, that's not six. So I'm going to cross it out. Six minus zero. Six. Take away zero. Six. So I can color that one. 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3. 1, 2, 3. Oh, that difference is 6. Yep, we can color that one. 3 plus 2. That equals 5. We know that one, so nope. 1 plus 5. 5 and one more. 6. Yep, so those are the six, those are the four flowers that we can color because they have a sum or a difference of six. Sum, difference, difference, sum. Okay, I'm gonna color them and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I finished coloring my flowers and I'm ready to move forward. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and flip it open to our think and grow and we have Newton and Descartes with thought bubbles. Okay, both sides equal eight. 8 equals 8 is true. So, we see 7 plus 1 equals 4 plus 8. 4. So, we have 7 plus 1 equals 4 plus 4. So, we need to see it, that they actually are equal. 7 plus 1. So, we're going to draw it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, and one more. Seven plus one. That equals eight. Four and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four and four, we know our doubles, that's eight. Eight. And eight. Seven plus one does equal four plus four. They are the same because they both, both sides of the equation equal eight. So it is true. Okay. And now we're going to do our show and grow. Is the equation true or false? Two plus zero equals. 1 plus 2. 2 plus 0. 1, 2, and 0 more. So that's it. 1 plus 2. 1 and 2 more. 1, 2. So 2 equals 3? No, that's wrong. That's false. False. All right, now let's check this one. 5 minus 4 equals 6 minus 5. 5 minus 4. So let's draw our 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we crossed out 4. Now let's do our 6 minus 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 minus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, one equals one. One equals one. That's true. 
both sides are equal. Okay. Now, is the equation true or false? All right. So we have more to do. So I want you to do three. I want you to do four. So push pause and then complete those. And when you're finished with those, push play again, okay? All right. So now we're going to go ahead and do five together. 10 minus four equals six minus zero. So let's do it on our fingers. So 10 minus four. One, two, three, four equals six. So I'm going to write six on this side. Okay, now six minus zero, that equals six. So it is true. Okay, I want you using your fingers just like I did to do number six. Okay. So push pause and go ahead and do it when you're ready. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to 7. 6 plus 1 equals 6 minus 1. Well, let's see. 6 plus 1. That equals 7. 6 minus 1. That equals 5. So no, that is false. That does not make sense. Now I would like you to do number eight on your own. Okay, let's try it out. All right, number nine, number sense. Circle all of the equations that are true. Seven equals seven. Yep, that's true. 10 minus four equals eight. 10 minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That equals 6. So that's false. So cross it. Alright. Now we have 5 plus 5. Oop, doubles. We know that's 10. 6 plus 4. 6 and 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. 10. Fantastic, so that is equal. Four plus two. Four and two more. That's six, so I'm gonna write six equals nine minus three. So nine fingers, and we need to take away three. One, two, three, six. Six equals six, so that is also true. Okay. All right, so now we are at Think and Grow Modeling Real Life. You have seven marbles. Let's circle it, seven. You lose two of them. Your friend has four marbles and finds three more. Do you and your friend have the same number of marbles? So let's check it out. So we have seven marbles. And we lose two, so seven minus two. And our friend has four marbles and finds three more. So we gotta see if those are even or not, now that we have our equation. So let's do seven, take away two. One, two, that's five. And four and three more. One, two, three, four, plus three is seven. So five equals seven? No, no. They do not have the same number of marbles. You have one balloon. You blow up three more balloons. Your friend has five balloons. One of our friend's balloon pops. Do you and your friend have the same number of balloons? So we have one balloon plus three more balloons. And then our friend had five balloons and one popped. So I want you to figure out to see if they are equal. And if they are, you push 
you circle yes, and if they are not equal, you circle no. So I want you to figure that one out. Go ahead, push pause, and then push play when you're ready. All right, so we're at the practice part. Okay, so <clears throat> five plus two equals six. I'm sorry, five plus two equals three plus three. So we have to check it out and see if it's true or false. So five and two more. Five, one, two, three, four, five, and two more. One, two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Three plus three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we know three and three make six because of our doubles. So seven equals six? No, that is false, false, okay? I want you to do number one and number two on your own. I would like you to push pause now and push play when you are ready. Okay, so now let's go ahead and I'm gonna do number three with you and then you're gonna do number four on your own. So let's do number three together. Okay, so nine minus five. Nine fingers minus five, whoosh, that's four. And then we have one plus three more, four. So four equals four, that's true. Now you do number four, and then push play when you're ready. And we are on our last page of math for today. Okay, number sense. Circle all of the equations that are false. So we wanna make sure that they are false. Two equals four. Nope, that's false. <laughs> four plus four equals eight minus two. I'm sorry, 10 minus two. Four plus four equals 10 minus two. So four and four doubles, we know that's eight. 10, take away two. One, two, that's eight. Eight equals eight. So we know that's true, so we have to cross it because they wanted us to circle the false equations this time. All right, four plus five. Okay, I know four and four makes eight, and one more equals nine. And six minus two. Six, take away two, one, two, that's four. So nine equals four. Well, that's false, so I need to circle it, because that's definitely not true. Nine equals nine minus nine. Or minus zero. Nine equals nine minus zero. That is true because you can't take, zero means nothing, so if we do nine minus zero, it equals nine. So we have to cross it because it's true. All right, number six. Modeling real life. You have five crayons. You find three more crayons. Your friend has seven crayons and finds one more crayon. Do you and your friend have the same number of crayons? So let's see, five and three more. And then our friend found seven and one more. So seven and one, that's eight. And five and three more, that is also eight. So, do we have the same number of crayons? Eight equals eight? Yes, we do. Okay, now number seven says circle the triangles, but I don't want you to circle them. I want you to color the triangles. So go ahead and take one of your crayons out that you used from before um, when we colored the flowers, and I want you to color the triangles and cross out the ones that are not triangles, okay? 
All right, boys and girls, I love you.